Hello, in this video I'm going to try out these new to me, the Crafters Workshop stencil butters. I bought a set of four, uh, as orchid, gamboge, fuchsia and marigold. And I also bought another one because there's no blues in that. So I got this turquoise as well. Um, I think there are actually 10 of them in the set, but I just got these first five because they're kind of they're kind of expensive over here. Anyway, so I'm going to be trying those out, but I'm also going to be doing some jelly. These are what I made, these postcards. I'm sending them to my top tier Patreon subscribers as a monthly thank you. I'm a bit late. It's the 10th as I'm recording this. But they'll be in the post tomorrow. Um, I, did, I used some of the colours, not the last two that I just showed you there. Aren't they lovely? I'm really pleased with these. They are jelly printed backgrounds on cardboard. So here I am, I'm going to start some jelly printing on the backgrounds. I'm going to be using some of my homemade stamps. I've been inspired by a lady called Jane Royston here on YouTube. I'll link her channel down below. She was using some of hers, so I thought I'd get my kit and do some more. Here's my lino cutters. And here are some of my older ones that I made. This is one of my goddesses. What else have I got in my box? Oh, a hand with a heart. I like that one. I like to put that on envelopes and the line of pencils. I made a leaf as well and I've got little bits left over which I turn into just anything. So I'm going to be using those. I will be using stencils because I want to use the stencil butters as well. So I'm ready with my 5x7 I think it is jelly plate. I've got my System 3 acrylics which are slightly watered down for jelly printing. So basically at this early stage I'm going to build up some background papers. And I'm going to speed it up very slightly, but I will pause and show you the prints when I remember to do that. So here's this lovely um, spiral. I do love spirals in my art. I use them a lot. I find them very inspirational because they're used in nature. So that's the result of that one. As I say, this is a background. I will be building up layers. Some will be successful and some won't, but that's the way it is with gel printing. You can plan, but it doesn't always go how you expect it to, but that's what I like about it. So I'm just using some blue just at the moment. I'm going to try and keep my colours not too wild, but you know, that's what I always say. <laughs> Here's the leaf one. I like this one. Again, this was inspired by Jane's. She had a lovely leaf one. So I thought I'd do my own. I can't quite remember which of her videos it is, but I will link it down below. She does some good stuff. That's the leaf pattern, so I'm very pleased with those. I get to use those a lot. And I'm going in with some magenta. It's a very translucent colour. Look how see-through it is. I could do some more leaves. And some of the blue is still on the on the, what's it called, stamp. <laughs> so that will come through. And of course, I'm covering my background with stamps as well. <laughs> there. So these are, as I say, these are background ones. I've also got the squiral, which is the square spiral happening there. I cut that one out so I didn't show it very well. Some more of the fuchsia, uh, the um, magenta. I'm using a stencil here, but I'm doing what she did and that's pulling it off. I'm going to do it a second time, pulling it off and rolling it on some paper to the right of me. And now I'm going to take a print from that and it's quite nice. I'm really pleased with this, the way this one came out. I'll be trying that again, I think. There, look, I was quite pleased with that. Uh, the trouble with stencils with thick paper is they don't always work too well, so it's why I'm avoiding using stencils so much in this video and for this session. Right, I'm going to, um, I'm going to move to some more opaque colours now. I've got a few layers of translucence going on. So I've mixed a little bit of white and purple and fuchsia together, and I've got this lovely soft violety colour. And this is very opaque. I 
and I'm using my spiral stamp. I love it. I've got a block of this white stencil, um, stamping material, carving material. It's not my favourite because it's not very good for delicate details, but it's great for these large things there. So you can see it's not brilliantly successful. You can see a bit of the blue sh shining through, but mm, not too pleased with that at the moment. But as time goes on, I might like it as I work on top. I'm just going to pull off what's remaining underneath using a bit of grease proof paper on top so don't smudge any damp paint and I like that now those are the sort of prints that I love the more of those the merrier and as I build those up they get quite interesting so this is a bit of the purple with white again very opaque using the leaves. I do like those leaves. So this is a chatty video, so I could chat away while this is going now, can't I? I wanted to tell you what I've got coming up in videos in the future. In the next uh, week or two, I'm going to be doing some faces in my journals. I'm going to be experimenting with various ways of doing that. So that's going to be a series that's coming up soon. I'm quite looking forward to that one. Um, part of that is going to be a jelly printing transfers. I've done it once or twice before, but I'm actually going to do a whole video dedicated to that. Um, I hope. <laughs> and so that's what's coming up soon. This is a lovely turquoise colour I'm working on there. Again, very opaque. I'm using the spiral, which is the square spiral. see what happens with this I've got a feeling I can't remember what happens let's see let's see oh yes I quite like that what do you think nice layers happening there and now I'm mixing a lovely canary yellow again with some white so it is fairly opaque So apart from my usual stuff, I've been working on new stencil designs for my Etsy shop and I've also been going mad making stickers. Um, I've made some stickers on various things now. I've made some stickers with flowers on, I've made some with animals on, I've made some, oh I like that, that came out nice didn't it? I like those two colours together. I've made stickers, what else, with some of my jesters on got quite a range in my shop now. That's my Etsy shop, which is listed down below. I can't remember what I did just then. Was that a one solid colour or had I done something to it? Oh, I was pulling off what was on the plate. There we go, that cleans the plate and yes, gave me an interesting print. Again with the canary yellow. Bit thinner this time. Going in with my corner stencil. That's a fairly new one. Now, I don't hold out a great deal of hope for stencils with this thicker paper. I do find stencils work better the thinner the paper you use, but it does come out okay. But this will be quite nice, I think. It's got a print of that. I like what I've got on that page. Right. Now a bit of the magenta, and now we're going back to transparency. Um, and we're going to build up some transparent la layers now. Back in with my lovely stamps. Mix 
can see I've got some not brilliant prints on the back of that page, but that's okay. Oh, now that's nice. I know I begin to like that when the layers build up like this. And I quite like switching between, you know, a couple of layers of transparent, one layer of opaque, and then a couple more transparent on top of that. And then I begin to feel as if I'm getting somewhere. I'm doing a bit of an ombre here. You put one colour at one side and the other on the other. Try not to get the marks of the roller on. And this was the light blue, the cerulean blue, mixed with a bit of white, I do believe. Oh yes, the white was on the right hand side. Might as well use the whole page with this one. Pressing it down firmly. Do you know what? I could jelly print all day long. And I kind of like that, but I'm not sure. It needs more. It either needs more or just needs to be chopped up. So this is the end of the gel printing session. I think I cut a fair bit of that out. And I cut out some postcard shapes. So you can see that one that I've just used. And it looks great cut down. And I'm going to do some of the stencil butter on top. So this is one of my curly type stencils, my Rococo style stencils that's available in my Etsy shop. It's one of my favorites. I use it a lot. I've had it. In fact, I initially made it using the old method I used to use, which is to use a, what do you call it? A wood burning tool to make stencil holes into, I used to use mm, file folders. But now I've got my stencil cutting machine. I have cleaned it up and I can print myself a nice clean one. So after a while they do get a bit tatty, especially the way I treat them. I never wash them in between things. I did wash them after doing the stencil butters. So I'm using my spatula to apply the stencil butter. But after I've done this video, I had another go with them and I used a piece of cardboard, which I found a lot easier. So something like a, a credit card or a piece of thick card is easier to push through. The trouble with this, it's so easy to forget to use the bottom of the spatula and accidentally poke with the top bit. But luckily this one came out all right. I did smudge another one. I'll show you that one. So it's quite easy to use. It goes on beautifully. I do love it. And now very carefully, I'm taking that off. And that's the print. I love that. Gorgeous. I love those two colours together. Now this one, I'm going to come in with my... Mm, did I use this one in the end? I think I did. I'm coming in with my, this is my Rococo border pattern. Um, that's available in my Etsy shop and that's been quite popular actually. And it does make a beautiful, beautiful pattern. I love it. I'm going to use the turquoise stencil butter for this one because that goes quite well on top of the, the pink colour background I've got going on there. So spreading it on thinly because the stencils themselves um, will create a raised effect there. Ooh, that's lovely. Got a little bit on the right there, but that washes off before it dries. I don't know if I include that in this video now, but I do clean that little mark on the right hand side off. This is another stencil of mine and I'm using the, um, what colour was this called? Fuchsia? And this is a floral design stencil of mine that I have available in my shop as well. And I'm quite pleasantly surprised how well the stencils produce a raised effect because they look so thin you wouldn't think they would, but they do. They work beautifully, carefully pulling everything off there. This is the difficult bit, getting it off without making a mess. 
I find it safer to um, tape down the stencil. There, look at that. I love that. Gorgeous. And these, these stencil butters seem to have a bit of shimmer to them. So now I'm going to plan how I'm going to finish them off. Going to, I've got these ideas for focal points on each of them. Well, the iris one on the left is all right. The butterfly is all right. The one on the top right, that's a lovely little thing that Ulrika sent me from Crawley's Girl. Um, I've been we're finally working on our little collaboration. And she'd sent me these gorgeous bits and pieces. But they've inspired me to make something of my own. So I'm going to work on the butterfly for now. I'm going to put some muslin down behind the butterfly. I'm just going to stick it down with glue stick and I'm going to do a bit of sewing as well. Just a little bit of sewing. So I'm just going to spread that out there like that. I need to trim a bit off the left there, but I'm going to glue down what I can first of all. Spread it out. There's a little bit too much hanging off the left. I want a bit hanging off, but not too much. And that sits there beautifully like that. And I'm just using glue stick. Now, because the stencil butters are raised, you have to make sure to press down firmly so you're not only gluing down onto the peaks. There. That's great. Love it. Right, that's that one. I'm just going to trim that little bit off the bottom. I do struggle a little bit. These scissors really need sharpening. But um, I do want a frayed effect anyway. There, I love those. That's gorgeous. And now I'm going to... These are the colours that I've used, but I've not used the orchid and I've not used the gamboge. But I have used the other colours. That's the... Which one? The marigold turquoise and the what was the other one fuchsia so I'm going to put these birds on this one I'm going to trim the edge off inspired by those lovely pieces that Ulrika made I'm going to do like a stamp effect edge around this one these are children the scissors that I accidentally bought from Amazon <laughs> I was looking for proper stamped, stamp edges type scissors. Let me know if you know of any because I couldn't find any. And these, these were a set of children's ones I've got. And I put them in a basket. And then late, a day or so later, I actually ordered something. And they were included. I was like, oh no, I didn't mean to order these. And now I'm going to use this piece of sari silk. And I'm deciding how to do the placement. Currently, the piece of sari silk is too big. Going to trim it down i have a bit of a battle with it because really what i want to do is tear it down long ways so i had frayed edges on the left and right but i can't do that i can only have the frayed edges at the top and bottom but that's okay there we're going to pop that down there i'm going to glue that down just with glue stick i'm going to pop that on top like that that'll be lovely I'm going to do a bit of sewing as well, and I do add a little bit of um, muslin to that as well. Applying the glue directly to that, it's difficult to apply the glue to the material, otherwise, because it just slithers about. Doing it that way. Try to fold that crease out. There we go, it's gone. Ah, oh, that's lovely. That sari silk matches the colour of the stencil butter perfectly. Now, I was deciding which side of the birds to do. That's, that's what I decided to change because the leaves in the background really go well with the stencil butter and sari silk. So I'm popping that down there, pressing it down firmly again to make sure that it goes down in between the peaks of the stencil butter. And I've got this scrap of muslin there, which I really want to put down there. Currently it's covering the bird's face, but I think later on, when I get to the sewing stage, I change that slightly. 
right? And this one, I've got this uh, from a gardening magazine, these beautiful irises. Irises are one of my favourite flowers. I do love them so much. And I put it on some book page, which um, I stole the idea from Ulrika again. She inspired me with hers, making sure it's straight. There we go. Look at those beautiful flowers. I've got a teeny weeny bit of lace. I'm going to bob on there. And I'm going to sew on that as well. In fact, these are all ready to go to the sewing machine. But first of all, I'm going to round the corners. I don't always do that with postcards, but I felt I wanted to with these. Kind of suited them better. Are you a corner rounder or not? I was considering going around the edges with the um, stencil butter actually to get a nice raised edge effect, but I, I decided not to in the end. Would have been quite difficult to do. Here's the sewing. I've sewn all the way around the edges, sewn down on the side of that one, and I've just done a line of sewing along there. Now I need to go through my magic box of words and find some words for each postcard. I've cut that bit out because that takes ages. So here are the words, I'm going to glue them on now. So the irises have the word inspiration, which I cut out from a magazine. There, love that. All goes so well together. I hope my lovely patrons like these. This one I've got, I forgot what the word said now. We'll see it when I put it down. That's halfway to paradise, that's right. I like that. And this one is create forever. And do you know what? I couldn't decide whether to put down forever create or create for create forever but in the end I decided to do create forever make sure it's straight <laughs> there love it so here they are that's the create forever one gorgeous love those birds so you see um, I uncovered the faces a little bit this one, Halfway to Paradise with the butterfly, gorgeous. And this with the irises, Inspiration. I really enjoyed making these postcards and using a new to me material, the, um, the Crafters Workshop Stencil Butter. Had great fun. Oh, and being inspired by Jane Royston and her lovely handmade stamps. Please give this video a like and if you feel like it, drop me a comment down in the comment section below. It would be lovely to hear from you. Um, also, have a look at my Patreon if you don't know what I'm talking about. And also have a look at my Etsy shop if you want to purchase some of these stencils. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!